Now that my part is finished, I can look over on my feature list and I can see that each of the sketches and the features are listed in the order that they were created. As I mouse over their name, I can see them light up on the model itself and that from the feature list I can go back and edit any of these sketches or features that I've created. So for example if I go back to sketch 1, right click and say edit, I now have access to this sketch and I can make changes. For example this length was 5, if I change this to 8 and accept that I'll see the immediate change in my model. So the power of feature-based modeling lies in this feature list that allows me to go back and edit any of the sketches or features that were created and dynamically apply these changes to my part as needed.